Hey everyone, Mayhem here, coming to you live from the Discord Dimension with another episode of Mayhem's Question Reviews, where today we will be reviewing My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 1, Episode 16, Sonic Rainbow. So let's get right into it. So how does this, uh, what's a plot snaps for this episode? Well, tw uh, well, bleh. Rainbow Dash is going to Cloudsdale to compete in the Young Flyers competition, and she wants to solve her signature move, the Sonic Rain Boom, which is just legend at this point. She performed it once, and she's the only pony to have ever performed a Sonic Rain Boom. And the only problem is, only her and Fluttersai can go to the competition because only Pegasi can walk on clouds. Well, Twilight ends up giving Rarity magical wings that she uses a spell to create, and gives the rest of the crew the ability to walk on uh, walk on clouds, including her. So they go up, and they go. And, uh, uh ra bleh, Rarity is gotten really overconfident because of her wonderful uh, butterfly wing type things. And so she gets really overconfident, and in the end actually decides to join the Young Flyers competition to compete against Rainbow Dash, even though the whole point of them going, her getting wings was to watch, Rain uh, was to be able to support Rainbow Dash in the Young Flyers competition, so she's being a total deuce bag. In the end, they all compete, but Rainbow Dash, surprisingly, gets massive stage fright, because she's been unable to perform the Sonic Rain Boom in, uh, her practicing, so she's super worried, and she waits to go last. In the end, her and Rarity go at the same time, and Rarity just starts completely one-upping on Rainbow Dash, being all of her beautiful wings, and she's like, I will do the ultimate pretty thingy McDoodle stunt, and she flies way up into the sky, and puts her giant butterfly wings up, and shines light all over the clouds, and then the sun burns her wings off, and she starts falling, and that's bad. And she's like, ah! And all the Wondervolts, who are the judges, by the way, jump off and fly after her. But Ra uh, Rarity's squirming around so much, he ends up kicking all of the Wondervolts in the face, knocking them all out. So three Wondervolts and Rarity are all falling from the sky, and Rainbow Dash is up in the air, and she's like, I can do it! And comes the here comes the best part of the episode by far. You should have seen my face. I was like, oh! and it's like, oh my gosh, here it comes, here it comes! And finally, boom! The Sonic Rain Boom, pow! Just shooting Sonic Rain Boom, greatest thing ever. She's able to pick up Ra Rarity and all three Wondervolts at the same time. And she creates the ultimate Sonic Rain Boom, just going wow! and just flying around the sky. And she saves them all. And oh my gosh, that was just so freaking amazing. It just blew my mind. The Sonic Rain Boom is always the best. I can imagine seeing this for the first time going through the old seasons. Because I'm pretty sure when I started watching MLP, I started with Season 4. Because I'd watched bits and pieces. I'd seen like a few episodes from each season prior. But then when I really wanted to start, I wanted to go through the entire series. I actually started with Season 4 for no particular reason. I have no clue why. Uh, it was just me being weird. But I had seen many episodes prior, just not in order. But uh, I don't remember there being a Sonic Rain Boom in Season 4. But, so I think Sonic Rain Boom might have been my first experience of a Sonic Rain Boom, and it just blew my mind. It was so freaking amazing. <sighs> so the good, it, that's one of the main good things. The Sonic Rain Boom was just amazing. Oh my gosh. And there are many funny moments about this episode. In fact, two of them are continuity errors that just made me laugh because of the fact that they're continuity errors. Because like I explained in Feeling Pinky Keen, I love continuity errors. Yay! So what continuity errors did I notice this time? Well, continuity error number one. So, uh, which one shall I start off with? Okay, you can see when, she's, uh, when Rainbow Dash is preparing for the competition, she actually sees Dr. Hooves and gets him to perform. The only problem is this messes up continuity for several reasons. One, in this con in this episode, Doctor Who's is a Pegasus, when in all other episodes he's just an Earth pony. And two, they give him a voice, and it's the voice of a teenage boy instead of a grown man like the real Doctor Who's. So, uh, let's it start a new segment in the series. This is called 
fan theories. So, what is my fan theory for this? My theory is, is that this is an older version of the Doctor because the Doctor regenerates, of course. My theory is that this is one of the first Doctors, like the first or second Doctor ever, like right after the, the destruction of, well, not necessarily after the destruction of Gallifrey, uh, or in this case it would probably be uh, Marifrey? Gallimer? What would you call Gallifrey in the MLP universe? Leave a comment in the section below to tell me what you would call Gallifrey in the MLP universe. But uh, back to the important thing. This is uh, my theory is that since he can regenerate, we all know he can regenerate to look differently. And when in the Doctor Who TV show, uh, when he turned into the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith, for a second he thought he was a girl, which means he's... Uh, able to change gender and physical body features, meaning this, in the MLP universe, he could easily become a, ma a pegasus or even a unicorn. Maybe he could even become an alicorn. We don't know that for sure, but it would be cool for him, uh, me and him to go on alicorn adventures. hoo ya! And the other continuity error that uh, makes me kind of angry is, well, makes me laugh, of course, is during the competition, Pinkie Pie is holding a foam hand, like a foam thumb thing, and it's a human hand, a human hand in the MLP universe, that's not how it works, but that, that just made me laugh, I was like, what were you thinking, animators, you had one job, but then I thought, back to the fan theories, so this fan theory, now, if I include, uh, like, lore by the fans, I'm going to say that this foam hand was created by Lyra. Because in the the main, the original reason that Lyra was not just a one-off character like most ponies are is because of the particular pose she was sitting in, which made everybody, like, make stories about her being obsessed with humans because she was sitting very similarly to a human. So uh, they made whole stories about how she was completely obsessed with being a, uh, with humans in their life. So my theory is she figured out what human hands were like and made a foam hand, or it's just wild luck, or the animators are kind of messed up. But that was a uh, little continuity error. But the biggest and funniest thing about this episode was not the continuity error. This is a moment that I uh, that every fan remembers after seeing this episode. One of the most memorable and talked about moments in the entire series. Yay. Yes, I'm talking about Fluttershy's yay and Fluttershy's cheering. It's been parodied so many times, used in so many videos and stuff, and referenced at other times in the series. It's just a comedy gold. Uh, as uh, those who haven't seen the episode would uh, to tell you guys. A rare, a Rainbow Dash. I can't believe I keep calling Rainbow Dash rarity. I'm being stupid. But Rainbow Dash is trying to get Fluttershy to be a good cheer. And she's like, Flutter, Fluttershy! And Flutter's like, like, yay. And uh, she's like that. It's like, louder, yay. Louder, yay. Louder, yay. Louder! <gasps> yay. <laughs> and that just starts so freaking funny. I just can't get enough of that. It's just ridiculous. But now that we've gone through the good, we got to go through the bad. Now, the bad. The main thing was Rarity this time. Now, Rarity, everyone knows that, uh, well, for the first, like, four, se three or four seasons of MLP, the fans' least favorite pony was Rarity. Nowadays, I say that the fan base of Bronies have gone to hating Applejack more than Rarity due to her low character development. Uh, because Rarity has changed a lot in Season 5. Trust me, she grows a lot as a character. But she was almost grown as far in Season 1. Except this episode dropped her down not bad to ground zero, but into the negatives. Not She got the wings, and she... Oh my gosh, the reason she, uh, Twilight gave her the wings in the first place were to go to Rainbow Dash's competition and to cheer her on. But what does she do? She just sews off her wings to everybody during the competition, and she enters the Young Flyers competition. The whole reason they went up there was to cheer Rainbow Dash on, and so Rarity 
enters the competition to compete against Rainbow Dash. What did you do, Rarity? You could have been a really good character. This was your time to sign. You've been redeemed in the last few episodes. Even I don't like Suited for Success, but Suited for Success actually redeemed you. Even though I don't like that episode personally, it redeemed you. But what did you do? You went and screwed it up. You went and went back to being horrible. And that just makes me so angry. It just, ah, came so close, Rarity. So, overall, what did I think about this episode? Now, in my last review of Season 1, Episode 15, Feeling Peaky Keen, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars and said that this episode would most likely get 5 out of 5 stars because I remember Sonic Rainbow being better than Pinky Keen. Upon watching the episode, I'd have to say that actually, I think I liked, uh, I honestly, people, are, everybody's gonna get angry at me, but I'm gonna say it, I liked feeling Pinky Keen more. Okay, stop your booing. No, don't leave the video. Trust, it just come back, let me explain. Now, I know there's the Sonic Rain Boom and stuff, and it was a really funny episode, but when you really look at the substance, and con well, when you look at the comedy of the episode, Feeling Pinky Keen is just a bit better than Sonic Rain Boom. Sonic Rain Boom gets all the points for being that uh, that huge Sonic Rain Boom at the end, but in the comedy department, Feeling Pinky Keen is actually the first place out of those two episodes. So I'd say that Sonic Rain Boom is still an amazing episode, and uh, it's just a little bit not as good as Feeling Pinky Keen. So. And when I raid, not uh, rate the episodes, not raid, I don't raid, except in Clash of Clans. Oh yeah! Town Hall level 11, bruh! Yeah, I bet you don't, you don't believe me, I can tell you don't believe me. I'll have to make a video on that someday and prove it to your face! But, in, uh, as that goes, yeah, yeah, I lost my train of thought because I just started talking about Clash of Clans while doing an MLP review. Where is my mind going? But... Not only, I always rate the episodes not only objectively, but relatively. I do objectively as in how good the episode is, but relatively as in comparing it to the other episodes prior to it. Now, this episode was amazing, but it was not as good as Feeling Peaky Keen in my eyes. It just wasn't as funny the Sonic Rain Boom set, it certainly did help, but overall, I'd say the episode wasn't quite as good as Feeling Pinky Keen. And for that, I have to give it 4.5 out of 5 stars. So what did you think of this review? Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? What do you think about this episode? And as I mentioned earlier in the video, what would you call a Gallifrey in the MLP universe? Gallimare? Malefray? Uh, Gala Colt? Coltifrey? I have no clue. Leave a comment in the section below. I bet you can come up with a better pun than me because I suck at puns most of the time. And next time we will pro most likely be reviewing another episode. So I'll see you next week or Wednesday if I run out of videos. But that doesn't really matter. But until next time, I'm Mayhem. Come to you live from the Discord dimension. And goodbye.